Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockrander. Today's story is about alleged backdoor in a government encryption protocol. Over the years, I've been talking about how government intelligence agencies have been trying to see inside encryption. Now, they're probably doing this because they want to catch bad guys, but the problem is, in order to do it, they're trying to build backdoors in public encryption protocols to give them the capability to snoop if they think it's criminal activity. In today's story, a professor at a university in London London, the University College London, found a new vulnerability in a GCHQ encryption protocol. You've probably heard of the GCHQ, it's basically London's version of the NSA. In any case, Dr. Stephen Murdoch claims to have found a backdoor in the Mikey Saki encryption protocol, which is something the uh, GCHQ actually made to help encrypt voice over IP traffic and maybe video traffic as well. And by the way, while this is a government encryption protocol, uh, Secure Chorus, which uses this protocol, is open source. So in the future, we might see other public products using this encryption protocol. Now, I won't describe this alleged cryptography backdoor in any technical detail. If you want that type of depth, be sure to check out Dr. Murdoch's blog post as it goes into a lot of detail. But at a high level, it really comes down to the fact that there's this master private key. Basically, service providers can have a master private key for this encryption. That means after you send encrypted communication, someone like the GCHQ can use this master private key to potentially decrypt your communications. So should you worry about this? Well, right now, Mikey Saki doesn't seem to be a protocol that's used in a lot of stuff, but since it is open source, you might want to keep an eye on it. If you ever find products that use it, that essentially means the government might have an option of seeing into your encrypted traffic. And while I can understand the need for authorities to catch bad guys, I personally don't think we should break private encryption in order for them to do so. We all rely on encryption every day to secure our financial data, to secure our online shopping. If governments are able to build backdoors in this encryption, while they think they may be the only ones that know about them and they're only supposedly using them for our own good, the chances are bad guys might be able to find them as well and later use them against us. So I really don't believe there should be backdoors in any private encryption. By the way, this isn't the first time governments have been alleged to have backdoors and encryption. A while ago, the NSA created an elliptical curve cryptography protocol that apparently also had a weakness that caused a backdoor. And apparently there's some modern security and routing products from Juniper that might use this particular protocol. Anyways, I just found it to be an interesting story about government backdoors. Now, before I end the show today, I will be out of the office all next week. So like this week, I'm not going to be able to post a video every day. In fact, I may only be able to do one or two next week. So just expect to have fewer videos next week. Anyways, that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.